Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 6th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodrawer.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what else is going on for you this week. March 6th, uh, you start off with the card of wishes, which is always nice. You also have the two of spades, which I think you get every single week with me, which is pretty weird, but let's see what's going on there. All right. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, you start off with the Nine of Hearts. Again, card of wishes, getting something you wish for. Just simply a wish card. can also represent the ending of cycles, cycles coming to an end in your life. Um, so again, if you feel like you've been on the hamster wheel with anything, really, a lot of those cycles could be ending or coming to close to an end. Again, nine of heart, Nines represent an almost closed circle. They represent things almost coming to an end, um, almost being done for you. So that's very nice. But again, mostly a wish card, mostly a card of getting something you wish for. Next, you have the Two of Spades card of changing your mind uh, and having a lot of mind changes this can also be the str a struggle on your mind having you know two different thoughts for virgo i always use the example of uh you know this is like the struggle between like having a traditional job and or and wanting to start a business it's like that struggle in your head where you're like well i have this safe secure job where i could stay here and you know retire and all this other stuff but i really want to start a business and it's like that that push pull on your brain of like what should you do you know what are you supposed to do i mean i think you should take the risk on on any of these struggles that you have in your brain you should definitely take the risk uh, and, and make things happen um you know i think the risky thing in life is not taking risk of course but um so this can be again trying to have those mind conversations but again also changing your mind so a lot of you could be dealing with a lot of mind changes and things i think virgo you know being the opposite of pisces you are also intuitive and I think you uh, also are probably um, just probably thinking about the, the differences as well. Sometimes I think this card is differences. And I know that's very general, but you could be thinking about, you know, differences between people, difference, differences between things, and trying to make sense of that as well. Next, you have the Ace of Spades uh, Victory, card of victory, over and uh, overcoming obstacles as well. So a lot of you could be overcoming obstacles. I think now that I, now that I think about it, I think Virgo gets this card a lot as well. Um, but it is a very good card. It's like a death card, transformation card, but mostly a card of, like I said, overcoming obstacles, finding solutions to problems that have been plaguing you for a while. So very good card to have. You also have a second ace, ace of diamonds. Very good card of money, but it is a card of needing to try something new, needing to step off on a new path. Definitely a message that has come up for several other signs this week. Not the same card, but the, the whole message of starting something new, kind of taking a new journey, starting a new journey, is very important. Uh, this is a card of the innovator. It's a card of doing something, again, scary, risky, new, different, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and again, it's a card of stepping off onto a new path. So I would definitely re recommend you do that. But uh, because, again, card of prosperity, so a lot of prosperity on the other side of that. Next, you have the King of Hearts. Again, uh, Pisces, the opposite sign of you. This could be love coming in for you, for sure, in the form of a water sign, probably a Pisces. Um, also, a very good card of returns. Normally, I don't look at this card as a, um, a person. Normally, I just look at it as things coming back to you energy you put out in the past or even money whatever that you've put out in the past and you getting it back it kind of represents your ships coming in so to speak um, and seeing a return in those areas uh, it's also a good card for again putting energy into something because you'll it does say that you'll see a very quick return you even end with an eight and eights are very good for putting energy out even putting money out into like investments and things and uh, seeing a positive return there Next, you have the Four of Spades card of recovery. A lot of you could be recovering. Again, a couple of signs have had this card this week. So, uh, very good card for um, seeing recovery in a lot of areas. Could be financial, could be health, but uh, mostly seeing improvement. So, I like to see that. And finally, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Again, very good card for putting energy into things. Very good for working. This card represents material success on the horizon. So, more money coming in in the future or getting things that you want in the near future as well. Uh, very good card for starting businesses as well. Very is This card under some card reading systems is called the Entrepreneur. So, very good for working on your own business and uh, you know trying to get clients even and things. It's even a great card for contracts. So, it would be great for client work or anything related to that. But it looks like a great week. Thank you for watching and enjoy it.